Welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, where we explore all things books, business, and bullshit. My favorite bees. I'm your host, the Fairy Coin Mother, Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com. Now let's get into today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, season six, episode 10, season finale. Wow, it's happening again. I cannot believe how fast I go through these seasons. It's normally like a full two months or or less longer, but I feel like I flew through this season. I don't know if the time is speeding up because it's ready for the holiday, but here we are, episode 10. We are going to have a life update. I'll be updating you guys on some things that have happened in my life, some things that are going to happen. I'm going to share some news that might <laughs> be hard for me to share, but it's a lesson um, that will be learned, and I'll talk more about it in season seven. I'm just going to be talking about what my thoughts are my thought processes going into the next season, how some things in my business may change, and what that will look like for the podcast, the YouTube channel, and then just the brand of Cinquanta Cox Smith and Coins and Connections all together. Probably share some wins, probably rant a little bit and some frustrations. You know how these life update goes. They go high, low, happy, sad, so many different emotions currently going on with me just because I'm so proud of myself for sticking with this year and year again. Um, I believe it was 2018 when I first started the podcast. I was super inconsistent for the first year and a half. Uh, Sometimes I would do two episodes a month, one episode a month. They were like 10 minutes long. There was no intro, no outro. I just tried to figure it out as best as I could. And now look at what I've built. I've built a community of listeners. I've uh, grown in podcasting. I'm editing better. I have so many different equipments and tools that help me to run my podcast. I've learned so much. And I think that's the biggest thing. I came into this not knowing what to expect. And I'm finishing out and continuing to grow in this structure. I'm sure there's pretty more, plenty more things that I can learn in this industry, but I'm super proud of myself, especially because I'm doing it by myself. There's podcasts out there that are ran by teams, but it's just a one woman show here. And of course I want to grow and I want to do things, but I think I really love the hands-on stuff. So I've kind of pretty much kept it simple with just myself and my editing (laughs) services. Again, I'm telling you guys, I use Descript to edit my videos and my podcast. Super easy. It provides the transcript for you. So it makes editing easier. I'll leave my link in the description box if you guys want to sign up for Descript. I am affiliate. That is an affiliate link as well. We're going to go ahead and get into this episode, and you know what time it is. It's time for our rapid fire questions of the day. The rapid fire questions of the day, the very first one is what's, (laughs) what is wrong with me? First of all, why did I put this question in there? What sound does a seal make? I do it <laughs> if you are listening to this <laughs> send me a message and let me know if i got the sound right what is wrong with me why why <laughs> why did i do this damn and the next question ain't no better oh my gosh the next question <laughs> the next question is can you touch your toes without bending your knees the only way to figure that out is if i get my butt up and try to do it i'm standing up y'all and bending, 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 bending. Oh, I can touch my toes without bending my knees. Hey, I got Megan shoulders. <laughs> Those are the two rapid fire questions of the day. Let me know, can you touch your toes without bending your knees, Miss Megan the Stallion times three? All right, let's get into the episode. Let's go ahead and get into the season six wrap up for episode 10. 
off the back, I'm going to tell y'all, it's going to be a lot of up and downs, some wins, some losses. I always take failure as a chance to do better and try something different. First of all, my merch account was suspended on August 1st. <laughs> I've been holding that in only like my, my husband knew and one of my print on demand buddies, Nick, he also has a podcast. Make sure you guys check that out. I believe it's called morning cup of merch by Nick Eden. Make sure you go Google that and check him out. And he also has a YouTube channel, but yeah, so it was suspended on August 1st and I was freaking out because I was like, what, what happened? I can speculate on a few things. I have not been uploading as much, but anything I did upload, I was, you know, trying my best to not make sure I put any bad keywords in. Nothing was infringing on anyone's rights. Sometimes it's crazy because I could upload something and they'll accept it. And then I upload something similar and they won't accept it and reject all. I never knew exactly why. I don't know. So, but I did slow down on uploading it and started uploading like really evergreen type stuff, right? It was terminated on August 1st. I applied for a new account within that same couple of days of August. And I was declined for a new account on August 21st. Now, before you go say, well, you should have known what I did was I created a new EIN. I put the EIN under my husband's name, a totally different brand name and address. Okay. But the website I use is one of my print on demand websites that has lots of sales. They could see that I was already building. Now I'm not going to say I'm never going to try again, but I'm going to try to apply every month <laughs> from now on to see if I can get another merch account because merch actually started to be my winning income source. And I feel like I'm pushed up against a wall without that cushion because I know I could depend on merch to come through for me time and time again. Like this year, one of my highest months, I made over $2,000 and that was a first. So it was definitely doing its thing. I was really heartbroken. Like, oh my gosh, that's a chunk of my income that I was that I was betting on. But again, it taught me to not have all my eggs in one basket. I have two KDP accounts. Why didn't I have two merch accounts? I don't know. <laughs> I never thought that I would be terminated. Now, the other thing that I was worried about, because I know normally when they terminate you, I feel like they don't pay you. But because I was terminated on August 1st, I was able to get paid for my July income. That was a blessing that I was able to get my last paycheck. It's just like when you get fired from the job, you get your last paycheck from when you worked. So I was happy about that. Now that that part is out the way, like I said, it was a failure. It was heartbreaking, but I'm going to reapply for a merch account every month starting, um, you know, I already did it in August. I'll do it in September, October, November, December. And if I don't get an account. I don't know what I'm going to do, <laughs> but I will update you guys. And in season seven, I'll probably dedicate a whole episode to this. So um, now on to a little bit of good news. I am currently working on two projects with Printful. I'm not going to say, but both of them will either be, well, I know one will be on Printful's YouTube channel and the other will be on my YouTube channel. If you have not seen my post or heard me talk about it in previous episodes, I was also featured on Printful's website and a blog. So that's exciting. I've worked with them at least four or five times now. Always a great experience. Glad to be an ambassador and affiliate with Printful. I've been rooting for Printful from the beginning when I started my print on demand career. It's just really good to be able to work with them and you know, create different products and try new products. I'm happy about that partnership. Also, brand partnerships weren't really on my vision board, but they started to happen more this year. And again, I know that's a reward for me being consistent. I don't think I just woke up one minute and was like, damn, Printful was emailing me or knocking at my door. I really and truly have been working and mentioning, mentioning Printful on my YouTube channel since I started. That's just a testament of my consistency paying off, all right? I've also worked with Printful on three different projects. Two were on separate occasions, but in the same email. And then one was like either last year or earlier this year. 
That was awesome. I recently signed influencer agreement with Guten as well. I'm excited to do that video. I was honored and shocked <laughs> when I received the email from Guten. So I'm super excited about that as well. I love their products. They are more for the advanced print on demand users. I'm excited to do the unboxing. I've got some really cool products to show you guys from that. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna put this out in the atmosphere, but some other companies that I would love to work with, such as T-Launch, Printed Mint, Printed Mint and Canva. So those are three companies that I would love to work with just because I've used a lot of their stuff. And also Zazzle. I wouldn't mind you, you know, working with Zazzle as well because I love their platforms and would love to learn a little bit more about them. This next news, I don't know exactly the date. I do pre-record sometimes. I don't know if this will, if, if the magazine will be out by the time you hear this podcast, but I took a chance on myself and created a few reels on my personal page. And from that reels, I was approached by Monty Jefferson, who is a part of the military association of military spouse entrepreneurs. We've been following each other for a while. I've been a part of AMZ for a while as well. Probably seen it back on my Instagram a long time ago when I got the goodie bags, the freebies for signing up to their website. It's for military spouses who are entrepreneurs. But she got into contact with me because she saw that I posted a, the Dare Military Spouse sticker and asked if I made t-shirts. Now, you guys know I really do print on demand, but I have all of the equipment to create shirts at home because I, I talked to a medium. <laughs> and I talked to my psychic at the beginning of the year. The psychic said July was going to be a big month for me. And when I spoke to the medium, she told me the week of July 21st. Monty approached me the week of July 21st. To me, I felt like the stars were aligning and I needed to say yes to this opportunity. With that being said, I created five shirts that will be on a magazine cover of Military Spouse Entrepreneur Guide. And that is basically hosted by Stars and Stripes. So if you are military, you might be familiar with the guide and you may be familiar with Stars and Stripes. Hopefully I'll be able to get the, the physical copy here on Fort Hood. Definitely gonna document that because to me, this is huge and I was just in my zone doing what I do. So that's exciting. More exciting news, I was able to be referred to a website called Starter Story, and it's hosted by Pat Wells, one of my lovely YouTube subscribers, Betsy DeVille. I hope I'm saying your last name right, but she sent me a message and she was basically saying, I've been a subscriber for a few months and I feel like this is a great opportunity. I would love to do an introduction email to get you on this platform. This platform gets lots of views and they allow you to tell your story, like how you started. Thank you, Betsy, for referring me because I've already done my first draft and I think it should be coming out sometime closer to the end of September. And of course, I will share that with you guys as well. I also was able to get my largest wholesale Etsy order of journals on my POD store. It was over $600, over 200 journals. So amazing. I've done this a few times before where I've done lots of journals for different people to create for events. So I'm excited about that. That was definitely another wow, thank God moment. I started a new TikTok account for my Coins and Connections page. And I told myself that I was going to do 31 days of reels and TikToks. And so far I've been doing that. <laughs> Whether there was a lot of thought or whatever put into it, I just figured, let me put it out there and see what happens. So I pushed myself to do more of that type content. I've signed up for a few wholesale websites, but one that is worth mentioning right now is called Spousely. If there's any other military spouses out there, it's one that is military friendly for spouses to put their stuff up for wholesale and i'm also working to get my fair account done my girl elandia has elon wick over there as well i called her when i was approached about fair so it took me a while to say yes 
started seeing, you know, seeing it a little bit more, trying to work on getting that done. It is a lot of work that goes into putting things up for wholesale. Trust and believe. <laughs> It's crazy. Let's celebrate because I broke 8K subscribers on my YouTube channel. Woo! 10,000, here we come. I am truly feeling like I can get to 10K subs by December. If you guys are with me, go subscribe, okay? I'm close to 15,000 podcast downloads. This may not seem like a lot to you guys, but I don't think I talk about a topic that is super, super sought out because a video is better. Thank you guys who do listen every week. My podcast is not huge, but my dedication is massive, okay? My dedication to creating every week and editing and, and publishing is massive. I'm excited about those downloads. I was excited when I passed the 10K downloads. And that's just from my anchor analytics. I don't know what it is on Spotify. Not sure what it is on Apple. So it could be way more. I could have already reached that. And I'm probably sure I did. But I'm talking about on anchor specifically, okay? And last but not least, I opened my calendar only because in a panic, I felt I needed to figure out my income for Merch by Amazon. But I have not struggled so far. So things like the brand partnerships have come into play. And then the website I told you guys about l and Research. So far, I've made $250 from that. That is easy to supplement that Merch by Amazon account. Again, when my back is up against the wall, I figure shit out. And I'm excited that I'm able to do that and bounce back and not sit in that failure, but also find a solution and then go towards it and work towards it to make it happen. That is most of my updates. This was pretty long, <laughs> but I know I won't talk to you guys for a while, we're going to be on a four-week break. After this episode airs, we'll be on a break until October 15th. The four-week break will start on September 17th, and we'll go through October 15th. And season seven will take us through the holiday. I'm excited about that, and I'm excited about starting season seven and seeing how my journey um, will take me through to the end of the year. And we'll talk more about what's going to go on with the podcast in that season. But until next time, I am signing out until October. I'll see you guys in season seven. This segment is called Q Money Bag Start of the Week. Q Money Bag Start of the Week. It's going to be really quick. I just want to talk about and say thank you for anyone who donated in January for my birthday. I raised over $500 and some of that went to subscriptions and equipment, but the bulk of it went to applying for my trademark. And I just recently got the email that it was completed and accepted. I should have my registered number and my paperwork by December. I'm super excited about finishing this. If you are looking to do your trademark or get your trademark done, it absolutely takes about eight to nine months. It is no joke, okay? I only had one issue where I had to respond to some things. I wasn't able to get two classes. I only ended up getting one class, but that is okay. That is the main class that I need it for. I think I'll talk to you guys about this before. I did do it on my own. I'm not saying that I recommend doing it, but if you're doing it for something simple, uh, like I did, Coins and Connections, and mainly I just needed it for my apparel because that's the main things that I sell. Um, that's what I did it for, and that was the easiest for me. Now, if you got some technical and different things and all it, look, hire a lawyer. Hire a lawyer, but that's your business. And the next thing that I want to talk about is in the actual episode, I mentioned FAIR. Well, since then, me signing up, I actually got my first wholesale order and I shipped it out today, right before the season finale aired. I wanted to be able to end this season and the Q Money Bag start of the week with a celebration. I'll be also finishing up the stationary business series really soon. I've recorded all the videos and I've scheduled them out. And I'm already working on season seven for you guys to just talk about a few different things and different print on demand. That will be coming up in season seven. And 
I love you guys. And I'll see you back here for season seven on October 15th. Don't forget, we're on a four-week break. There won't be a lot of activity going on on the Queens and Connections business page, but feel free to shout with me, you guys. I have added some new things. So the website is www.queensandconnections.com. And save, favorite, like, all of that. And subscribe to my YouTube channel as well because I'll consistently be uploading on there three days a week. I'll talk to you guys in the next season. <laughs>Thank you so much for listening and subscribing to the Coins and Connections podcast. Don't forget to leave a review and join the conversation over on Facebook and Instagram using the hashtag Coins and Connections. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Smith and at Coins and Connections. You can shop all merch at www.coinsandconnections.com. I love you more than I love this podcast. Peace.